In the beginning, God created the world. He created the earth, the oceans, and all the living things in the world. But there was something special that God created, something he made in his own image, human. God created humans for them to fulfill the purpose he gave them, but they didn't always obey. In fact, most of the time, they chose their own knowledge over God's. So God decided to start over. He planned to do so by bringing a devastating flood upon mankind. But God did not leave all of mankind to die. He saw a man who followed his ways instead of rejecting his words. So he decided that he would allow him and his family to survive. This man's name was Noah. So God instructed Noah to build an ark so that he would not die when the flood came. Then God brought down a big flood upon the world. And while all the evil was washed away, Noah was safe with his family on the ark he had built. After the flood came to an end, Noah came down from the ark and saw that God had placed a wonderful rainbow in the sky. This rainbow symbolized God's promise to never flood the earth like this again. And that was the story of Noah. The next part of the story is about a man named Abraham. Abraham's original name was Abram. Abraham lived with his wife in the land of his father. One day, God called Abram and made a covenant with him. He told Abram to leave his father's land and follow him to Canaan. God promised Abram that he would make him great and be blessed. Abram was faithful towards God and he went where God told him to go. After a while, Abram went to Egypt during a famine. When Abram went, Sarai was with him. Because Sarai was a beautiful woman, Abram feared that his identity as her husband might get him killed. Because of his fear, Abram told Sarai that they would appear as brother and sister in front of Pharaoh. However, God was angered by Abram's decision. As a result, he struck the Pharaoh's family with disease. When the Pharaoh found out about Abram's lie, he sent Sarai over to him and told him to leave. So Abram left Egypt. Then one day, God told Abram that he was going to give him a son. God honored this covenant, even though Abram sometimes lacked faith and did not believe he could produce a child with Sarai. God still gave him a son. He was named Isaac. Abram was renamed Abraham, and Sarai became Sarah. God promised to make their descendants as numerous as the stars. Abraham was a faithful man who followed whatever God told him to do. Even when God asked him to sacrifice his son, he did not reject God's command and proceeded to do so. God was pleased with his faith and allowed his son to live. Abraham's story is one of the great faith and the story of God's truthfulness. Generations after Abraham's story, his descendants find themselves enslaved in Egypt. The Egyptians were very harsh on the Israelites. They forced them to do hard labor all day and all night. The Israelites cried out to God, and eventually God answered them by bringing Moses amongst them. Moses listened to God's instructions and tried to convince the Pharaoh to let his people go. However, Pharaoh did not listen to Moses. Because of this, God brought ten plagues onto the people of Egypt. The first one was a river of blood. God proceeded to bring disasters like the death of livestock, hail, darkness. Then God brought death upon the firstborn sons of Egypt, and that finally made the Pharaoh give up his stubborn attitude. Take your people and go! A few moments later... On their journey away from Egypt, they encountered a problem. In front of them was the Red Sea, 
a big ocean which they could not cross. To make matters worse, the pharaoh changed his mind and pursued the Israelites in hopes of capturing them and continuing their slavery. Then God made something amazing happen. He split the Red Sea. However, the Egyptian army caught up with the Israelites, so God allowed the sea to collapse as soon as the Israelites finished crossing it. The pursuing Egyptians all drowned in the Red Sea. Through God's power and Moses' leadership, the Israelites were liberated from the harsh treatment the Egyptians placed upon them. This is called Exodus. They forced them to do hard labor all day and all night. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah! Come on, baby! Oh my god! Joseph! Lou Abraham, thank you! Oh my gosh! Yeah.